not take the risk of him becoming a patriarch. He consorts with harlots on the streets. I know it is hard for you to believe that he can be a Judas, but it's true, Your Holiness. I'm not even sure about his good heart. You think that you can come here and pretend to be holy? I'm starting to think that you're not human. A lot of great minds have been breaking their head against the wall over this question for many centuries. So I don't know what kind of answer I can give, but what I, I'll try to say whatever comes to me. I, I uh, you know, when my father was uh, about to die, he was very sick. He said, this is not life. Uh, Many times when I didn't feel well, I said, uh, God, this is not life. And I'm sure many people in this world say things like that. But then if you think about the fact that if you're in somewhat of a comfort zone that ends in death, is that life? So life is God, life is where God is. God said that uh, I came to give life in abundance. Just hear that words, not just life, because what is life? Life can be many things. I'm here to give you life in abundance. What ear has not he hear or hasn't heard, what uh, eye hasn't seen, what uh, mind cannot perceive has prepared for those that believe in God. So it's this eternal life that it's real life. Uh, I feel that we can feel glimpses of that life while we are here. I'm sure the saints feel it more often than we do. That's why they're not afraid of death. They are looking forward to be with God as soon as possible so they can, so they can enter um, real life. This is a preparation for a real life, but we can still be alive. And, and, uh, and I remember many times in, in the moments of uh, very difficult situations when I felt lonely, hungry, did not know where anything was coming, I would feel all of a sudden alive and uh, so it's interesting that's all I can say about life this is a theology now I, I'm not a expert on theology uh, life uh, in this world begins uh, from the moment the uh, child conceives we know that uh, but we were in God's mind and, and, and with him even before. I, that, that I cannot, I don't have knowledge to talk about that part, but for, for us here, the life begins at conception. I was surprised, you know, I, I'm gonna confess something now that I don't know how it would, would reflect upon me what I'm going to say. I never thought of getting married and having children. When I was a little girl, when I was a woman, I never, that, that wasn't something that was in my mind for some reason. I, so I wonder what is really for me, but that's another question. But God has blessed me with children and marriage and uh, yes I was surprised and then when I had my first son I, I experienced incredible joy, love, you know, that I didn't know that existed before and uh, children are gifts from God and uh, responsibility 
but gifts from God, definitely. Well, I was very young, and I wasn't married, and uh, I had thoughts of uh, maybe should I have the child or not. At the time, I wasn't uh, part of, it was before I, I you know, uh, understood a little more about those things within the church. Um, but I prayed to God about it. I remember exactly where I was, what place I was. I remember the room, what it looked like. It was at the, my friend's apartment in Los Angeles. I was alone, there was nobody there. And uh, I didn't hear any voices, but it was a clear message from God. You're gonna have this child. You're gonna go through very difficult times. It's gonna be very difficult, but I'm gonna be with you. And it was difficult? It was incredibly difficult, but it's the best thing I've done. And God was with me all the way, and He has blessed me because of that. I was very young. The gentleman that I would have, in general, wanted to get married to, and he wanted to get married with me, had problem with substance, and it became unbearable to a point where one could not be with him. And I was uh, dragged through courts. I was accused of things I've never done, slandered unjustly, so somebody can take away my child. That's where Archangel Michael stepped in and helped me. I mean, for real. Uh, I had a piece of paper that appeared in my room that uh, proved my innocence. My connection with him is, I'm indebted uh, forever. Uh, so, uh, I was a single mother for a long time. I never received any help except just abuse and prosecution for no reason. But uh, you would think I was a young actress, I was, everything was happening for me, promising. But look, I'm, after all these years, I made a movie. And what kind of movie? So I would always tell women when they, are in a, they feel they're in a difficult situation, they feel, what do I do? I, I don't have a husband. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to meet ends. I would tell them, keep your child because God will be there with you and you're going to get blessed more. And your life might even be easier at the end than what it would have been if you don't have him or her. You had uh, such a courage to keep the baby, even if the life context uh, I was told so. it's going to be hard. <laughs> you were I, prepared. I knew. And it was, it was hell. But uh, hell that came with a lot of blessings. And uh, it came at the end with the victory. So who knows what would have happened to me, uh, what kind of misery I would have thinking that I'm on the, on the worldly level, that I'm doing the right thing. Who knows what else would have happened. Uh, there is, uh, that's why I would always encourage women to, if you get pregnant, there is a reason for that. God will help you. Don't uh, give a chance to, to the child. He will not abandon you and you will get blessings. He will, there's, there's no way that God will let down a mother, even if it's a single mother with a child, without help. That's not going to happen. I, I, I know that. And, and even if you have to forego certain things, and even if you feel that you're going to miss out on certain things, God will give you seven times more later, just like He has given me. What about if somebody doesn't believe in God? What could you say? <sighs> if somebody doesn't believe in God, uh, I uh, would tell them, uh, <laughs> I don't know, the, the, I, I don't judge people, what can I say? Uh, I, think, I think everybody believes in, uh, we all believe there is something, there is something, you know, the, the, I don't think anybody can just say, I only believe in, in, uh, in, uh, in what I see, you know, when people say that, then, uh, if that's the case, I mean, then you don't believe in thoughts, in feelings, in emotions, in things that uh, are predominant in our life. 
things that we see are minimally used in entire life and things that we don't see we operate by things that we don't see all the time so that argument is just kind of difficult to it's like a it's not even worth mentioning so but okay let's say somebody doesn't believe in god uh, okay they have a free choice not to believe in him another thing i'm going to say i believe in god I cannot say that person who doesn't believe in God is worse than me in any shape or form because the reason I believe in God is because God give, is, gave me that gift. It's not because I'm special or I'm better than that person. It's because God has appeared to me, has shown me that He's there. So all we can do is to pray for, the, for, for people that, that, that say they don't believe in God. I know a priest who was my spiritual father who claimed, this is what he told me, he's a, a very amazing priest, Father Alexander Lebedev in Los Angeles. He told me that he grew up with a mother, with a single mother, who was very religious. And all his life, he said, I went to church, but I didn't believe in any of that. And then I went to finish universities. He's, he's very well educated, he speaks different languages, he was very intellectual. And he said, to be honest, I never believed in any of that, ever. I was just polite, I respected my mother, but I, I, I just didn't believe in any of that. One day I went to sleep, I woke up the next day and I wanted to become a priest. I have no explanation for that. So, who are we to say when, when somebody doesn't believe in God that one day they might believe in Him or maybe God has purpose for them? Do, do, do you see what I'm saying? We can't judge people, you know, we have to have love for people and understanding for people. And, and the best way to to if if you were to feel that you need to say something or do something the best thing with people like that is to uh not say anything just to be to have love and to to show by example that what you believe in has value i mean that's the most important thing when i had a second child because i was 11 years older we we're talking about it was, I didn't expect, I didn't believe that I was uh, going to get pregnant. As a matter of fact, my husband and I tried for a while and nothing happened. So I thought, okay, I'm done with uh, having children. Then Nikolai came. After that, we didn't abstain from trying to have another child, but it never happened. So, so Nikolai sort of just appeared as a... Definitely, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a God's gift. I feel like uh, Mother of God had something to do with that. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I really feel that. So, uh, it, was, it was wonderful. It was, uh, but I was older, I, uh, even though, now, this is interesting, this is just on, on, on a worldly level, the comment that when I was younger and I had a lot of problems and, and it was very difficult because I was younger, it was easy for me. Many things were easy for me. Now I'm 11 years older, everything is supposedly all right. My mother is there, my husband is there, and I feel like I'm exhausted and, and it's very difficult. So maybe it's better to have kids younger. <laughs> maybe there is something to it that, that we, should, we should... It doesn't mean that you shouldn't have them later. And that, that, you know, it's okay. And, and God knows what's the best for, for each person. But yes, uh, if uh, we can have them earlier, I think we have more energy for them. Females. How did Michael react when you told him he will be the... The brother? The, the brother, yeah. The Do bigger. you know what my son uh, told me when I... I remember the morning when I found out I was pregnant with Nikolai. Uh, Michael felt, Michael was 11 years old, or 10 or 11, and he felt that something was, there was something going on, and he just came to me and he said, Mom, what's happening? And I said, I have to tell you that Actually, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. You know what Michael told me? He said, I need to tell you it's going to be a boy because I prayed to God to give me a brother. He chose uh, his name? <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, Michael, I knew that it was going to be Michael before he was born because of my connection with Archangel Michael. Nikolai, for a week, we didn't, we, we kind of were debating on what the name was supposed to be. And I said, Nikolai, that's because it's good. It was around uh, Christmas time, you know, St. Nicholas. And then I thought, wow, that's quite amazing. I named him Nikolai because now my father's saint is St. Nicholas and my mother's saint is Archangel Michael. So 
but I didn't think of it at that time. Now I just kind of acknowledge the fact that it's 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 a nice nice al alignment. <laughs> May they be healthy and well. That's all I care about. I don't know why people have people people don't understand. Uh, sometimes per person has an abortion. They don't they don't they're not. Uh, Understanding, they don't feel like they, most people feel. Oh, it's just pregnancy. It's nothing. It's it's a, it's a, that's what is. They're not educated about it. They don't understand. It's actually a life already inside of you. Most people do it out of ignorance. Uh, some people do it because they feel they can go through with it. I don't know, uh, but I don't know anybody who has has abortion that didn't feel really bad about it afterwards and then that, that didn't leave scars and, and because it is uh, I mean life is a gift and 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 I believe I'm pro-life that that we should uh, no matter what kind of situation you're in I know uh, there are people out there that would love to have children they do all sorts of things to have children <laughs> they, they go through and there are people that get pregnant and, and they, they, they get scared and they, they, they feel like they cannot go through with it. For those that like, they're, they're scared, that's like I said it already, like I, I, I know from my own example that God will help you if you have a child and if you keep the child, you will never regret it. Many women in Romania say that uh, they don't want to have children. Or they want to make an abortion because uh, they will lose the career. They won't make it to the school. It will be hard. Uh, you were very young back then. What I happened to your young. career? I had a career. My career might have delayed because of that. But let me just tell you something. Imagine I'm coming to Greece at my age. I tried everything in LA, and even after I had the kids. So. You can't blame a child, having a child, for not having a career. Uh, and then I end up making a film that I could have never, that I tried to make in Los Angeles, but it didn't happen. So what I'm trying to say, things are in God's hands. And if you show the courage, not only that you will have a career, but you'll have a better career than the one that you thought you should have had in the first place that I can guarantee, because I've seen it in my own example. So that's the, just because we have perceptions, we feel, uh, but we don't know what tomorrow brings. We, 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 we first need to start to say, well, am, am I gonna wake up tomorrow? That's good a good question. <laughs> it's a good question, right? So if we can live for today, it will resolve a lot of our problems. We would think differently, we would, we would have less worries, you know, and we would make better choices. And God doesn't send a child uh, for nothing on this world. No, it's a life. It's a valuable life. And, and, and uh, again, I would, it's a gift. I, 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 it's the best thing I've done is having children. Well, I would say to him not to do that because I believe in life. Uh, I, 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 I don't know, I mean, I would have to, uh, under no circumstances, I would tell him to go ahead and do it. But I would certainly listen to him. I would try to have compassion on the situation uh, so I can give him some good energy, some, some, some positive uh, feel so he can make the right decision. You know, that's, that's what I would try to do. Yeah, because being a father, it's also a blessing. <laughs> of course, uh, the child is created by a man and a woman. There's one thing I taught my children, is that God is first and everything else is second. Uh, their father is God and their mother is mother of God, and we are parents. So I even told my children, yeah, I mean, I really, really, I told him that because maybe I'm not going to be around. I don't know what happens tomorrow. So they need to know they have a father who cares for them. And if they develop that relationship with him, uh, and if they pray to him, and if they 
ask him for guidance, they will, never, they will not make many mistakes in life. They cannot make a mistake and they'll be protected. And I told him that because I've experienced that, not because I've read it somewhere, I've actually experienced that. So I hope that they continue, I, I hope they have a meaningful life and I hope that it's life that will be pleasing to the Lord. We have to invest because we're helping people. You know, maybe a lot of these women, as you said, feel that well, I, I, I don't have means to take care of my child. I don't have means to take care of myself. So if we, it's very important to, to invest and help uh, so they can make a decision to keep the child and, and, and uh, uh, God willing, have a smile on their face later that, that they, they've had and be happy they made the right choice. give a meaning to your life and support life.